Just a moment. Of course, this fire is is about 80 square miles. It is very large. It's one of the largest wildfires in Kern County history. And it all started from just one spark. So 17's Kaylee Soren joins us now to talk more about how we even got here. Kaylee? Yes, Alex, the Burrell fire began Wednesday after a crash on Highway 178 that killed a 46-year-old driver. This scene, the Burrell fire, all started Wednesday afternoon around 1 o'clock. Kern County Fire says a car careened over the side of the canyon, killing the driver and catching fire. The fire on Highway 178 near Burrell Road began to rapidly spread, and Highway 178 was closed. By Wednesday night, the Burrell fire had scorched more than 1,600 acres. Thursday around noon, the first evacuation warning was issued. A few hours later, that warning was upgraded to in order. By Thursday night, more than 3,100 acres of brush had burned. But that number exploded before Friday morning, with the fire doubling in size to more than 7,000 acres. But the blaze nearly doubled in size again with the help of windy weather, burning about 13,000 acres by Friday evening. Then Friday night, the fire exploded once more burning close to 32,000 acres. Then Saturday evening, the Burrell fire burned almost 38,000 acres with no containment. Evacuation orders were issued for nearly the entire town of Bodfish and areas near Thompson Canyon, Bodfish Canyon, Walker Basin, Shadow Mountain, and Rankin Ranch. And on Sunday, the blaze surpassed 50,000 acres, leaving nothing but destruction in its wake. And as of news time, the fire has burned more than 50,100 acres and it continues to spread unchecked. Highway 178 remains closed through the Kern River Canyon this morning with no word on when it will reopen. I'm Kaylee Soren for 17 News. Our coverage of the Burrell Fire will continue when we come back.